you've got to learn to recognize when the passages are trying to mess with you on these vocab questions. It's obvious to me right from the start. Just look at the beginning. Disproving the common misconception of native art as blank, right? So you're disproving a misconception, right? So that's two negative words. So uh, do we need, does that make a positive? Like I'm confused, right? So maybe this won't matter. Maybe I'm making a bigger deal of nothing, but it instantly worries me. Now, because the blank is so early in the sentence, I also really don't really know what's going on enough to start to fill it in. So that's okay. Let's just continue with the paragraph and, and see what we get. The painters whose work appears in the collection at the National Museum of the American Indian employ a range of styles. Okay, that seems actually important. Range of styles. There are artists working in the traditional arts of their specific tribal communities, artists working in European modernist or American abstract expressionist art traditions, and artists blending various traditions into something wholly new. Okay, so just it, it, that's an example, right? They're telling us there's various styles, right? Even just like the end, blending various traditions means there's various styles. So, Okay, this is where we gotta just make sure we're keeping track of the logic of the sentence, right? This is a twisted relationship. Disproving the common misconception of native art as something, right? So native art, you might even wanna write this down on your scratch paper, their art is varied. That's kind of what we're trying to say. So the art is not unvaried, right? So they're disproving the idea, the misconception, the, the wrongly held belief that native art is unvaried, right? So that's what we want, right? Because they're disproving it, right? It's a misconception because they are uh, believing it incorrectly. And thankfully, we are disproving it by talking about all these other people, right? So that's the point here. So what we want for this blank is unvaried, right? They're disproving the idea that it's unvaried by talking about all these people who have a variety of styles, right? So now we're just looking for a word that means unvaried. Uncontroversial has nothing to do with it, right? If it's uncontroversial, uh, basically nobody's fighting about it. Nobody's disagreeing, right? But that doesn't have to do with whether or not it's varied or not. That's just is it its own idea. Uh, individualistic. Well, uh, that... That's tempting, but let's keep going. Theoretical has nothing to do with anything, right? So this is based on the idea of a theory. So theory-like, right? If it's theoretical, maybe it's abstract, maybe it's conceptual, it's not real. It's theoretical, it's just a theory. So this is just completely random. Now, hom hom homogeneous or homogeneous, depending on how you wanna pronounce it, basically means something is the same throughout, okay? The same throughout, unvaried. That's my answer. So if you know that word, this is an obvious fit. It, it is perfect for what we're trying to say, right? They are, there's a range of styles, there's lots of variation. So we are just proving that the idea that they are not varied, that there's no variation, that they are the same. We are producing, we are uh, disproving that idea. Now, I think what most people are gonna do is they're gonna pick choice B, which is a bit of a trap, because even though it doesn't really make a lot of sense, it makes enough sense that people are gonna just like be okay with it because it's a more familiar word, right? So what does individualistic means? It kind of means like you are uh, selfish in a way, right? You're doing something kind of like on your own. So maybe selfish or just maybe kind of, yeah, like on your own. But that's not the same thing as being varied or not varied. It's, it's not like there's, we wanna be clear, we're not necessarily saying that all these people are coming together and doing these native artworks together. They are just displaying a range of styles, right? That they maybe each have their own individual style, but the, the blank, the sentence is not about any individual artist, it's about their entire, the entire set of native art, right? So uh, B, you could really force it in, but it's not about people like doing things together versus doing things on their own. It's, a, it's about the art itself being varied or unvaried. So it's it's close, but it doesn't fit. It really doesn't fit. So don't you don't bother, don't bother arguing. The point I want to make though is it fits enough. It's tempting enough that when you don't know a word like homogeneous, homogeneous, you are going to pick something like B because you're like, well, I feel safe with that word. But you can't do that, right? Anytime you have hard words, you got to get rid of what you know doesn't work. And in this case, if you felt that B didn't really fit, but you were forcing it in any forcing it in any way, you weren't using a good strategy. You should have gone with the word you didn't know and just taken a chance and said, all right, you know what? I know what individualistic means. It doesn't really seem to, to match here. So I'm not gonna pick it because it doesn't fit. 
So that means I'm going to have to take a guess on one of these words that I don't know. And in this case, there's only really one, I think, that is truly unknown. And it would have been the smart bet. So learn from that mistake if that's what you did. And please put in the comments if that's what you did. I'm very curious. I kind of predicted this here. But this is a very important question because it does show the importance of learning new vocab words because homogeneous is a good word to know. But it also shows what we're supposed to do when we don't know a word because during the test, you're not going to be able to look it up. So we got to have strategies for that and avoiding the hard word just because you really don't want to pick something you don't know. That's a bad strategy. Use the words you do know to make informed decisions. And then if you need to, pick the word you don't know because everything else fails. That's an okay process of elimination strategy if you need it.